We might have to reposition the long lens to get that shot, but uh, we might be able to do that in the time that it takes you to get up there. When I was invited on the trip, I was like, oh, how cool would it be to hike up to the mountain, strap in, and, you know, catch that fresh powder and snowboard down. I mean, that sounds Jay, you guys got a plan epic. There. And I'm sure it was, but, like, standing in the bowl as the cameraman and as the drone operator, I almost, I had to hold myself back and, like, I could have easily hiked up with them okay, and snowboarded down, but we're, we're I chose to hold myself uh, back, staging up here with the long lens, fly the drone, and capture some of the coolest drone footage I've ever captured. And that in itself was rewarding. Like, I didn't realize that holding myself back, letting them do their thing, and me capturing it would be as rewarding as it is. Like, it's some of the coolest stuff I've ever done. That run was pretty sick. Like there's a lot of like spray, so they're like carving, and the sun's right behind them, so every spray just lights up. It's crazy. <laughs> and then that drone shot with them sitting on the ridge. I kind of like hid behind the ridge and then panned around them. And as I got closer to the ridge, it just revealed like the entire front, like everything behind the front in epicness. Wait till you see it. <laughs> I think it was a couple nights before the trip, Cody invited us over to his house. Um, we had a couple beers, had some pizza, and then everybody bought, brought gear, put it in the garage, and we kind of went over how, every, how everything worked. So, like I had learned how to put together a split board days before we went. Um, you know, Max and AJ kind of covered how it went together, you know, how the skins go on. I mean, there's a lot to it, like, to setting up a split board and knowing how the gear works, so. Um, when it when it came to the day that we were going to hike in, like, Paris and I had to figure that all out together. So, you know, as a team, kind of figuring it out. And then, our first steps on the split boards were right there, like on the trail. So we didn't get to practice or anything like that. Still about you a little Sometimes bit. like that's the best, that really is the best adventure is something that you, you didn't see coming or something that you've, you had a, either, you thought you knew what you were going to go do. Hey, and Pat, like, this is going to be the adventure. You had an idea of what the adventure was going to be before Roger you went that. and did it. But I think that's the best adventure is something that you didn't see coming. There's like two different adventures, like the one that you're expecting and then the one that blindsides you. And then I, I feel like that by it blindsiding you, you like remember that more and you dwell on that and you're like, how epic was that? I didn't even see that coming. Yeah. Hell yeah. But have you ever been up to Lily Guard Cave? Mm. I don't know how you get there. I kind of know how you get there. Darren has a big book of caves on his yeah, desk. I'll bring it. Pretty sick, eh? I got a lot of free time down here. <laughs> <laughs> 